Hi everyone, Tass here again from Pure Vitamin Store, keeping you pure and healthy. Now, I've co I come to you today in the form of this video to give you some breaking news, actually, in regards to the Deshaun muscular dystrophy drug that was just approved today by the FDA. Now, for you guys that don't know what actually Deshaun muscular dystrophy is, which is DMD, it, that's its abbreviation of course, is that it's a muscular disease, it affects mostly boys, um, well, girls can have it too, however, it's, it's very rare that actually girls get that, get that disease, but it affects the, the way the, the muscles work and develop, it they have a problem with the protein dystrophy in their DNA and in a nutshell the, the muscles deteriorate over time and unfortunately these little boys or girls in the rare cases actually don't make it past the about the age of 25 to 30 so I just want to give a moment to raise some awareness before I go into the approval of the drug um, it's a pretty sad condition. Up to now, there's no real treatment for it. The treatment that goes around for this this disease is basically steroids are given to to these to people who suffer with this disease, and that's known for slowing down the process of the of the disease, and it, it helps out for most patients and. The other treatment that's widely known is physiotherapy. So yeah, I just want to raise awareness and give out a thought for, for the families and the poor children that actually suffer from this kind of horrific disease. So now, this has been disputed for, for a while by the FDA. They actually it's actually gone through trial a couple of times or in front of the board and they've declined I think in April 1st and then in May and now it's finally approved today by the FDA now it's the reason why they declined it was because they were trying to they were trying to see if the drug actually is actually actually works with with the patients meaning that there wasn't enough data or tests done to prove that the actual drug worked or even in that case it's safe so it was only tested on 12 patients which is not many at all and all these 12 patients there was no real placebo effect if you want to call that there wasn't a test where uh, 12 of them were given the the actual drug and 12 thought that they were given the drug so basically that's how the placebo test works that you'll give 12 people the drug legitimately and then you tell another 12 people that they actually have taken the drug but they have it so normally sometimes we have that placebo effect where we think that just because we're taking a certain product that it's it's helping us when it's it's really just a placebo effect so there was no test actually proving that it was not a placebo effect so that was the reason why at the beginning one of the reasons why the the FDA listened to the advisories they normally do that but they don't have to but in this case today they actually did approve it so it gave they gave it the green light they they speed it up the process for the for the approval and they actually approved it but based on the condition that the manufacturer Serapta if I'm pronouncing it correctly is that they have to continue in their trials to prove that this drug is effective and it's safe as well so it's it's a tough one I know there's a lot of people a lot of families that have well a lot of families that actually have children who suffer from this condition are ecstatic right now um, no, no disrespect to them I think it's 
it's it's wonderful in that case if, if this can help i really do hope it helps but my only concern is that it hasn't been thoroughly tested um it's it's just my concern and this will only treat 13 percent of patients with the shun muscular dystrophy so it's not a wide market meaning that the drug is going to be expensive as well so it's just i'm on the fence with this one i i think that i know emotionally people who are connected with this disease or or treat family members or whatever it is they they wanted some sort of approved drug and up to now there hasn't been an approved drug yet for this dmd disease so um in my personal opinion i think it should go um, should undergo more testing before it, it was actually approved now the reason why i'm saying that is just to prove that it's actually safe is my number one priority and i just thought i'd put this video out there guys raise awareness tell me what you think i think it should be watched closely and hopefully this is not another drug that the fda has approved quickly where it's actually gonna do more harm than good so i hope it does come out good but let me know what your comments are below let's raise awareness let's discuss this and yeah if i find out any more news and in the future i'll do another video so thanks for watching guys as always and keep keep pure and healthy Okay, bye for now.